As General Conference Weekend approaches, Latter-day Saints look forward to the announcement of new temples somewhere in the world. And in recent years, that has included temples in Utah. That's right. There will soon be a surprising number in our state, and they are a focus of a General Conference special from Carol Makita, who brings us this preview. This is an historic moment for temple building and renovation in our state. In just a few years, there will be 28 operating temples in Utah. Yes, 28 temples from north to south, east to west, and through the middle of the state. These temples of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints represent a visual statement of faith and commitment of church members. Some of them are still under construction. The Polsons can watch progress of the Smithfield, Utah Temple from their front porch. The newly named Provo, Utah Rock Canyon Temple has closed for reconstruction. Across from the MTC, this temple has been so important to missionaries preparing to serve. It helped me learn more about the covenants I was making, which then helped me use it on the mission in helping those that were teaching, that we met, understand those covenants as well. Others, including the St. George, Utah Temple, have undergone a renovation. I think it's the most exquisite temple experience I've ever had and maybe the most exquisite building. At nearly 94, Jane Braithwaite is thrilled about her beloved Manti Temple. There is a spirit and a, a warmth and a power that emanates from that temple, and, and we feel it. And the Briggs family is overjoyed about the Syracuse temple. This one and others in the future will have two baptistries. When like a high schooler wants to get a group of people together to go to the temple, they get like a huge group of people, and, and they just go with all their friends. It's, it's just a thing that people do. It's trending, I guess. Temple work is trending. And church leaders say this time in the history of this faith is prophecy fulfilled. Join us for Temples Now Dot the Land, Sunday, April 7th at 1 p.m. on KSL TV, ksltv.com, and on our KSL Plus app. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News. You can watch Carol's piece along with many other specials next weekend in between conference sessions. The 194th Annual General Conference for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints will air right here on KSL-TV. You can also download the app to watch or listen on KSL News Radio.